Managing Director and CIO, Damon Vickers and Company from my hometown, the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. Damon, good evening to you. So the markets took it all in stride, actually. Good for New York. I'm kind of wondering what happened there. But, you know, the theme I noticed is that as stocks were get down at the open and through uh, much of the morning uh, session, the bargain buyers emerged from the woodwork. This is becoming a re this is be uh, repeating itself quite a bit. It has been. I mean, Bernie, the U.S. markets are, are strong. You know in, in every interview that you and I have done together year to date that we said the markets were going to go significantly higher. None of that has changed. Uh, we put a target at 16,200 on the Dow. Um, all of that is in place. I think we're going to hit the 16.2. And I'll even go so far as to say that over the next several years, I think we're heading up towards 22, 23,000. Um, so the U.S. Uh -huh. market's extremely strong, and even though seemingly the rally in the U.S. has extended, it's really not. Right. This thing is only three months old, so we've got a wow. lot more to go. Okay. Aren't you ignoring the fact, though, that there's an increasing chorus? I mean, the fact that they're talking so much, and I, it's, it's kind of boring me to tears, but all these governors in the Federal Reserve, are ta or presidents in the Federal Reserve, and the governors, too, uh, are talking about, oh, when should we do this? When are we going to pull the plug? When are we going to dial it back? And, uh, and, and all that. And, you've got to, and in Japan, everybody's worried that this Avionics thing could start to backfire a little bit. It's like a banana in the tailpipe, if you look at what the Japanese government bond yields are doing. It might kind of derail the whole thing. Are you ignoring all these factors? Well, what you're talking about is, is noise. Am I going to pay attention to noise and the chatter of opinions, uh, or am I going to pay attention to what's happening from a price standpoint? The news is going to come and go. Opinions are going to come and go. Uh, but price is self-evident, and the markets have emerged out of a 13-year slump, and the U.S. markets look poised continually to move significantly higher. I'll throw you one in there that no one has even begun to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it right now, and that is the U.S. banking sector. The banks, a number of them, not all of them, because they're not all equal, but the banks are about to emerge from their ranginess, and that only tells me that the profits and the earnings of a number of key U.S. banks are likely to rise significantly over the next six months to a year, and that may provide even more further tailwind to the U.S. economy and the U.S. markets. Yeah, and you've been big on the banks for some time. You've got Wells Fargo, Culver City, California, U.S. Bank, PNC uh, as well. What are going to be the drivers of growth uh, for the banks? Or is there going to be a sudden demand for credit, or uh, where, where is this going to come from? What's the catalyst, David? Well, I, I think for sure, if, if, you're looking, if, if you're looking to buy a house, which you should, you better get moving, or any of those things, rates are low, you should be borrowing money. Borrow money when it's low. Money is low. Money is cheap. Borrow the money. This is a good time. It's been a good time. It continues to be a good time. Wells Fargo, we, we own. Um, that's moving higher for us. PNC, I think, is about to emerge. Hasn't quite yet. I'm going to wait. Um, also, I would say the same thing with U.S. Bank Corp. That's another one we have our eyes on. Culver, we don't have any position at all in. But um, these banks are looking positive. Wells Fargo is looking great. Citibank isn't. Uh, J.P. Morgan isn't. Bank America isn't. AIG isn't. Uh, and those shouldn't be touched. And I, I'm astonished that some of the largest hedge fund managers in the United States, I'm talking about the big guys, that they're wasting investment dollars in trying to pick bottoms on Citigroup and the like. I think it's insane. I, I, I can't ponder the intelligence of what they're doing. I, I don't. What else? David, what, what about outside the, uh, the U.S. financial space? I mean, there's been some, there have been some shake-ups. Uh, let's talk about the consumer and just take one part, uh, particular example for no uh, other reason than the fact that uh, McDonald over at P&G has been under fire for a long time because of failure to meet the metrics that some of their competitors, like Colgate Palmolive in the consumer uh, product space, have been uh, enjoying. They just changed. He's out. And uh, Lapley is in over at Procter & Gamble. What about names like that? What about corporate shakeups to extract more value from the companies. Is PNG something you talk about? Anything you touch? PNG we PNG is a nice one. I mean uh, we saw it, and I saw PNG emerge out of its ranginess, and we, we didn't buy it because we didn't like the size of it. Year to date, larger caps, uh, generally, with, with some exceptions, some large caps have done fantastic, but generally your, your smaller caps, your Russell, has done a little bit better on a percentage basis than your larger companies. And we got a, we really, we started moving more to that 5 to 